Another deck for the OG150 challenge, it's the Hitmon combo. Welcome back everyone to more from the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch and today we are going to be taking a look at the Hitmon deck. That is the combo between Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee and of course Hitmon Top. So let's take a look at the deck list over on PTCGO. And if you like the deck list then make sure to leave the video a like. It is the single most important thing you can do to support your favourite content creator. This one is an incredibly good fun list featuring Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee and Hitmon Top. Obviously for the OG 150 challenge we're focused more on the Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. So let's talk about the combo. Hit and Run is the attack we're going to try and use with Hitmonchan. 90 HP basic fighting type Pokemon for one fighting energy. We deal 30 and we switch this Pokemon with one of our bench Pokemon. Pretty good ability, we can combine that with things like Altaria to try and get a Pokemon that can wall out VMAXs and GXs in the active. A very, very good potential option. Then we aim to attack with Hitmonlee. It has the attack special combo for one energy, which means if we've used Hit and Run with Hitmonchan last turn, this attack does 90 damage to one of our opponent's bench Pokemon. That's really, really good. Obviously, at the moment, Mew is a big part of the meta, so it may not work every time. Also, on top of that, after the Hitmonlee, we have Hitmon Top with finishing combo for one fighting energy. We use this attack if our Hitmonlee used special combo last Last turn and the attack does 60 damage to each of our opponent's Pokemon. A very very cool little deck, it's super super nice, I've enjoyed playing it, um, I've had this one on my account for a long time, I'm not entirely sure exactly where it came from but it is an incredibly fun list, let's take a look at some games. So our opponent has an Eternatus deck box, Eternatus sleeves and a Sneasel in the active, I think we're looking pretty good to be honest, we can uh, quick ball here, hopefully we find, oh no, uh, no Hitmonchan, that would have been nice to get. Let's put the Oranguru down, we'll play down the Lily's Pokedoll. And then Primate Wisdom, we'll put an Energy on top. Uh, no Pokemon to attack with yet, would have liked to have gotten the Hitmonchan. We would have instantly won the game, um, but you know what, I'm happy to just sit back and take a turn. This deck is a bit slow, I will attach to Swablu though, just on the off chance that our opponent um, doesn't do too much this turn, and maybe we can dock them next turn with a Altaria. If we get crazy lucky, that could be a potential option. Uh, this is a good deck to be playing against, by the way. Eternatus is a... V oh my god, boss's orders, what? You can't knock anything out this turn, I don't think. Just going to attack for 30 into Swablu? That's fine by me. This is exactly what I was talking about. If we get everything we need here, we could go crazy... Uh, and get ourselves... Oh, that's so interesting. Let's Bird Keeper. Did we get the Altaria? We get the Altaria. You know what? We're not going to win the game. Because I think I would prefer to see how this plays out uh, if our opponent is able to set up. Because it's not every day you get to fight an Eternus. So, whoops. We whiffed the Dojo. Um, hopefully... <laughs> the game ends up being worth watching, and you actually get to see it. Um, unfortunately though, lots of the time these games go for a very long time. A very long time. But bear it in mind, we could have won just then, we play the dojo down and we take the knockout on the Sneasel and we move on with our life. But we want to get the Hitmonchan's working, so let's see what we can do. It looks like our opponent has finally got themselves going here. They've got an Eternatus. Uh, also, Heretic Covenant, who I'm playing against. If you're watching this, um, if it does make it to to actual play, um, I'm sorry, I, I could have beaten you then, but I'm toying with you for content, so I'm sorry. Uh, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You don't always play against the Turnitus, like I said, especially not with a fighting deck that does uh, a little bit of damage here and there. So we will see. We'll see if we can't persist with it for a bit. Our opponent with an Eternatus in the active, they won't be able to do damage to our Altaria. But they could potentially accelerate with Power Accelerator. It looks like that might be the direction that they're going. We'll wait and see here. Obviously it does rely on a couple of other factors. And yeah, like I said, these kind of games will go on for a long time. Because you're setting up lots of little damage hits here and there, right? You're not dealing too much damage 
uh, in a row, just kind of going bang bang, hit a couple of hit a couple of little hits along the line, and then try and get the victory from there. Looks like our opponent is uh, moving energy from the Weavile onto Zigzagoon. This Weavile list, obviously, very popular at the moment, and going for the surprise attack. So, no knockout there. We have stuff to do. We can come. We're gonna get rid of the Fion. We're gonna go and grab ourselves a Hitmonchan because we want to set up the combo, right? We've got two of the pieces. Uh, we can play down the dojo, we can Marnie. Again, we could just attack into this Zigzagoon and take the knockout, but I want to get the combo off quickly. And if the combo works, if we actually get the combo working here, um, we can just knock this Zigzagoon out later anyway. Uh, at the moment, we have all the pieces that we need. So we just need to find like energy and uh, bits and pieces as along the road. We should be fine. We're going to do 40 damage to the Zigzagoon. Again, could have taken a knockout, chose not to. Probably pushing my luck, whiffing two knockouts on purpose. <laughs> but we will see how we go. Looks like they're going to move energy. Um, my thought process is, what we're going to do is we're going to let our opponent push in front a little bit. We're going to hit the Hitmonlee, we're going to hit into the Weavile, which will put it on... What's that? 150? Because it's 90. 60 plus 50 is one... Uh, 60 plus 90, sorry, is 150. So we'll put that on 150, which is in range of the Hitmon top. The Zigzagoon is in range of the Hitmon top. We'll be behind, so we'll do 40 more damage. We'll do 200 damage to the Eternatus in the active, which they're presumably attacking with by that point. Uh, and then we deal 60 onto the Zigzagoon, 60 onto the Weavile, and take three prizes and put our opponent's Eternatus within range of being knocked out by a Hitmonchan as long as the dojo stays in play. I'm thinking way too far ahead though. Because um, my opponent could just go boss, boss, boss and that that's the end of the game. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully they just try and flip with the surprise attack here. Interesting attachment, the weak guard energy onto the Zigzagoon. Would have thought that perhaps you'd value that more on your Eternatus? Maybe? Apparently not. They're going to retreat into the Eternatus. Maybe they do have boss in hand. They do. Okay, so we lose our Hitmon Lee there. But it's okay. We've got cards. We've got cards. And we know we're getting research off of the top deck because we put it there with a Rangaroo. That was this turn, right? Yes, it was. Okay, beautiful. So that's Quick Ball. We're going to grab the second Hitmon Lee. So it is present. Because we're going to gun for this finishing combo play. Like I said, I think it is possible... And you know what? We're here to use that deck anyway, so we may as well do it. We'll put the Bird Keeper on top. Marnie there is not ideal, but we will research that away. We're looking for an energy. We've found the energy. We even get the tele uh, telescopic sight, which is pretty good. Um, and we've got the Hitmon on top for next turn as well. So, I think we retreat. We go into the Hitmon Lee. Uh, we're going to attach to the Hitmon Lee. We're going to attach. The telescopic sight, and yes, that is on 60. Uh, so this, instead of putting it on 150, uh, we'll put it on 180. So let's special combo. We won't play down the Hitmon top, uh, because we want to save it for next turn. We don't want our opponent to just boss and knock it out like they did the Hitmon Lee. Uh, so yeah, we will hit into this Weavile, uh, and that puts our opponent with three prizes on the bench that we can get with the Hitmon top. We've got Research, we've got Bird Keeper, we've got everything we need in our hand to try and find the energy to get that finishing combo off. And even if our opponent Marnies us, it's not the end of the world because we do have a pretty good chance of drawing into it. There's plenty of Ball Search, there's plenty of energy in the deck, so hopefully it all works out and we get to use that combo. Um, but we will wait and see. Uh, they, they should take the knockout on the Hitmonlee here. They've gotten the Marnie. That's annoying. Uh, so now we're going to need to work for it. But it's still possible, right? Still possible. We've got the Bird Keeper there. We've got a Marnie. We've got a Telescopic Sight. We've got a Polka Doll. So we've got all the pieces to draw cards that we need. Um, we are, of course, looking for uh, the Attacker and the Energy, but we could get those off of the Marnie. The worst part is we know that the Attacker's on the bottom of the deck, so there's only one left. But we do have Quick Ball. We have the stuff. So it is possible. It is possible that it happens. If it doesn't happen, though, we will have to readjust and play this game slightly differently. Alright, so... 
We promote the Altaria. Has the uh, the the thing on it? Oh, there's the energy. Um, I'm gonna put that energy on top of the deck so that we guarantee draw into it. And of course, there is a energy there already. So we will money. We are now looking for quick ball or pokeball or something like that. No, no. Okay, or oh, great ball is what I meant to say. Disappointing to say the very least, but we've at least got Hitmonchan. We can hit and run. We won't play any of our other fellas down. We'll just uh, go into the Altaria now. Uh, so now we're at the start of this combo, which is unfortunate. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go for it again. But because our opponent didn't put the weakness guard energy onto the Eternus, like they probably should have, we do still have an opportunity. Because I don't know if you noticed there, for one energy we just dealt 140 damage to the Eternatus. That's 30 plus 40 times two for weakness, 70 damage. So, a very, very solid uh, attack for one energy onto an E-turn. Yeah, no, that, that sucks. Oh, and if we had have played the, the top down as well, we would have got it. <laughs> That's the thing, right? I play the Hitmon Lee down in the first couple of turns. Play the Hitmon Lee down, and it gets gusted up and knocked out. So, in the next turn after that... I don't play down the Hitmon top because I'm afraid it's going to get gusted and knocked out. And instead, our opponent knock, uh, they Marnie us and screw us over. Um, and they are going to boss you. That's their third boss. So they're going to knock out the Hitmonchan. Luckily, we have another one with energy in our hand. Um, but they are, they are really targeting down these fighting Pokemon. They're making it has, as hard as possible for us to, uh, to get that combo off. Luckily, though, we do have the other attacker. Uh, and there's the quick ball. Just one card. Just one card we missed by. Um, but we did use hit and run last turn, so we can go for it again. Um, except we don't have any Hitmonlee in the deck because both of them were knocked out. Uh, let's grab the top. We'll grab the Hitmon top. Uh, we'll play down the Hitmon Chan. We're just going to have to hit and run again. Uh, let's, put the, uh, let's put the top back on top. Oh, a boss. That's incredibly good. Okay. Okay, so we've got a we've got a chance to do some stuff here. Let's return to the Hitmonchan. We will hit and run again, I think. I will also attach the U-turn board. We can hit and run back into the Altaria. They have at most one boss left. Because they've already played three. If they do boss out our Hitmonlee and attack with this Eternatus, we can knock out with the Altaria because Speed Dive will do enough damage to knock out the E-Turn. If they don't knock out the Hitmonchan, then we can do whatever we want. Uh, we're probably going to boss this Eternatus up and hit into it with Hit and Run. But the worst part is, if we had access to our Hitmon top, we would have already won the game. Because we would have dealt 200 to the active, 60 to everything else. And then we would have been in a fantastic spot to win. Um, but it doesn't look like it is going to happen here. Luckily for us, our opponent isn't in a position to take a knockout this turn, I don't think. They've put the second Eternatus into the active. Do they have fourth boss in hand? Maybe they do. If they have fourth... Oh my goodness, they have fourth boss. So they're going to knock out the Hitmonchan here, which is... Alrighty then, we keep our Hitmonchan. That was not expected. Um, okay, Primate Wisdom. Dojo, I think we're going to put on top. Let's get that out of here. We've got a Poker Doll, that's good. We've got the boss, so we're going to take the knockout on that Eternatus and try and get ourselves some prizes. The best part here is that we do get to hit and run again. So Hitmonlee is still an option, which is fantastic. Plus, we also completely mitigate the risk of a uh, attack from any other Pokemon, uh, which is really good. So things like Sneasel now can't hit into us because we've got the doll in the active, because um, that Altaria is getting perilously close to being knocked down. We have Energy and Hitmon top. We would prefer to have Hitmon Lee, but the uh, the two of them are in there already. Uh, we do have a Ordinary Rod, so we can, can use that potentially, but uh, it, it might be tough. It might be tough. We'll wait and see. So they're going to Venom's Fang into the Poké Doll. We're going to go into the Artaria again. We're going to bench the Hitmon top. We're going to Professor's Research. 
We may put the energy on top again with the Oranguru. We got punished for that last time, but... You know. It was worth it at the time. We made the right call, I think. Just uh, didn't work out for us. Luckily, our opponent doesn't have access to any more boss, right? So as long as we always have Pokedol or Altaria in play, we cannot lose to prizes. As long as that happens. We play the Hitmontop. We put the U-turn board down, because we don't really care about that too much. Let's Primate Wisdom, we'll put the energy on the top of the deck. Telescopic Sight doesn't really matter. We can just research here. It doesn't look like our opponent plays Stadium, so Martial Arts Dojo is fine. Uh, we have Hitmonchan, Energy, Altaria is not particularly useful. Let's attach to the Hitmon top again, though. We miss the, uh, we miss the, the Rod which means that we're kind of in an awkward spot. We also don't have a copy of, uh, whatchamacallit, of Pokedol. Um, we're just whiffing a whole bunch in this game, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. We'll grab the Feon. I don't think I really want to play the Feon. I just want to have it in hand, make our opponent worry about it a little bit. Let's hit and run. We're dealing 140 with weakness, thanks to the Dojo, because our opponent did take that extra prize, um, which means that we are in the box seat when it comes to dealing damage. This coming turn, we are likely to be able to use our, uh, our Ordinary Rod, because we're going to draw 7 out of a 15 card deck. We're drawing 50% of our deck, because we're going to top deck a card as well. We're going to draw a card um, from the top. So we're in a really good spot to draw most of our deck. We're getting marnie though, so... There goes that one. Maybe the, the fear of Fion was too much for our opponent to deal with. So let's see. Okay. Ordinary Rod, Great Ball, and Supporter. So if ever we were going to get the Hitmonlee attack off again, this would be it. There's another Weak Guard energy. These, these Weakness Guard energies are just not going to the right place. And they're not being placed at the right time. Um, looks like they're moving energies onto Crobat. I imagine they're either going to attack with Crobat or they're going to attack with Sneasel to put some pressure on this Altaria because that's the thing that's stopping our opponent from winning the game at the moment. If they attack with Sneasel twice, uh, we are actually going to be knocked out, which means that the Eternatus on the bench will have a free reign to take a KO on pretty much anything that they want. So that's unfortunate. Although, if we do get the Hitmonlee attack off this turn, it actually doesn't matter. Right, so if we Ordinary Rod the Hitmonlee back in, grab a couple of energy as well. I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually only Ordinary Rod one Hitmonlee back in. Because uh, if we put one in, it gives us the best chance of drawing into it and energy. So, weirdly enough, because we haven't used too many Pokeballs yet. So we've still got Great Ball, still got Quick Ball, still got Pokecom. We've got Marnie. We should be able to find the Pokemon. The thing that I'm concerned about is energy. Uh, I think there's... Well, there's four in play. I think there's two or three in the discard pile. Um, and there's a Quick Ball. So we guarantee that we get the Hitmonlee here. So let's do both. Uh, we will throw the Hitmonlee in just the one. Uh, and then we will put... There's two energy. So we'll put both of those back in. Uh, I will Great Ball here. That gives us the best chance to see an energy later, because we can thin cards out. I will Quick Ball. I'll get rid of the Theon. I don't think we really need that. We do need the Hitmonlee. So let's play that down. Then we're going to Marnie. We're going to draw five cards. Then we've got an Oranguru. So we're looking at six out of 16 cards. Let's Marnie first, then we'll Oranguru second. Six out of six... Oh, six out of 17 cards. Okay, no energy there. We still have a chance, though. Let's go for it. Hopefully, we get it off of the Ranguru. Okay. Oh, man. Are we ever going to get that to happen? Well, I mean, we don't need it to happen now. We can get it next turn, right? I think if we play the Pokedoll down, if we go into the Hitmonchan, we take the knockout on the Sneasel, and then move into the Pokedoll, we should be fine. I don't think our opponent can take the amount of prizes that they need to take this turn anyway. Um, so we'll move into the into the Poker Doll, Lily's Poker Doll. We'll take a prize. Professor's Research, beautiful. Okay, so we've got plenty of draw. 
We are looking for one energy out of 12 cards. If we get Marnied, we look at four, five of the, uh, no, we look at six. So we actually look at half of our remaining cards if we get Marnied here. Because we'll draw four, we'll top deck one, and we'll get to look at another one with a Rangaroo. So there is almost, I feel like it's almost a guarantee. I feel like there's, if every single um, energy card is in the deck, because there's nine in the list, if we assume that they're all in the deck, I think there's five left. I mean, it's disappointing that we didn't get it off of that Marnie. Um, there's a Cheryl, that's disappointing, but it's not going to remove the win con. That Crobat is still a win con. Uh, so, no Marnie. We should be able to find an energy here. Hopefully, we just top deck it. We don't. Okay, well, we'll play down the Poké Doll just in case some crazy thing happens here. Let's research. We're going to see all but four. <laughs> and there's all five of our energy. Let's retreat into the Hitmonlee. Well played, sir. And, uh, hey... Good game. That was a long one, though. Talk about a long one. It was almost 20 minutes, so I won't bore you with another one. But that showed off how the combo works. Now, we got lucky. We played against the Turnitus. But, hey, that's fine. Sometimes you just pair a good matchup. And there are good matchups floating around for this deck on the ladder at the moment. So, uh, that's a pretty solid thing. Most importantly, though, we tick off two Pokemon for the OG150 Challenge. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan both are now finished. Thank you very much for watching to the end. If you are a supporter of the channel, then you might consider becoming a member. Uh, a whole bunch of members over this side of the screen. Dadbot, Azazel, Taco. Uh, thank you very much for your ascended memberships. It is genuinely surprising every day I check and see you are still there. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Fernando Yolo, Stephen Ty, Agent Abel, Austin Josiah, Andy Exonix, Robzy, and Caster PD, as well as our ever-growing list of Mega Sableyes. I've had to start a second column. I'm going to need to move my camera out of the way. There's so many people that are supporting me. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're watching at the end and you don't like the video, what are you doing? Otherwise, we'll see you next time for more from the Sableyes. Bye. What was this?